Bob Russell is the Director of Advertising for Fred Meyer, a chain of grocery superstores based in Portland, Oregon. Fred Meyer is also one of America's largest jewelers, with stores in 33 states. Mr. Russell oversees a multi-million dollar advertising budget for Fred Meyer and offers these tips for how to better sell and service the needs of advertisers. So what is a store like Fred Meyer looking for from a newspaper? I'm looking for an inexpensive media. I'm looking for a trusted vendor or supplier and a marketing partner. Uh, and I'm not being facetious about this at all. Uh, to settle for just one part of that would not be uh, 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 would not fulfill our needs at all. We're looking for a lot more than that as well. Uh, newspapers need to sit down and talk to their advertisers. What kind of things do newspapers overemphasize that don't mean much to retailers like Fred Meyer? Newspapers re overemphasize a lot of things. A and uh, I could start with their non-subscriber distribution. I could start with those post-it notes that everybody seems to be sold on that, have, that we've tried and don't work. Uh, and I'm not saying they don't work for everybody or anybody, but they didn't work for us. What mistakes do newspapers make when trying to pitch Fred Meyer's business? Newspapers make several mistakes when pitching Fred Meyer. Everybody talks about readership, and then this morning in this meeting I had with this paper, they said talked about pass-along readership in the coffee shop. Uh, excuse me, but I never saw anybody jump out of a coffee shop and run across the street to the store to buy something. Uh, I mean, they did, and I wasn't around. But getting the numbers in circulation up will increase readership. And the numbers in circulation are going this way, and I don't know how readership can be going this way. We're not interested in the non-subscribers. We are interested in paid circulation, we, are in, we have done a lot of research, and we used to use the non-subscriber distribution, and uh, we found it didn't pay off. We have used and are still using some weeklies, some uh, papers that uh, may be secondary or even tertiary to the market. If they have large circulation, if they have paid circulation, even though they may not have paid circulation, at sometimes if the readership is good and the reach is good, we will test them and we'll find out. We measure the, the results of ads in, our, in the newspapers by using coupons, by, by uh, identifying the sales results of specific items advertised in those ads. And we uh, really can tell whether there's movement resulting. I, I, I uh, was meeting with a newspaper this morning and I uh, reminded them that that uh, retailers want instant gratification. I mean, they want customers in that door right now. Some of the things I'm seeing though in, in newspapers and, and the ad reps that I've worked with from various papers is they're not professional. They're good old boys who say, hey Bob, how about buying an ad? And that, I mean, that doesn't turn me on at all. I, I would like to relate one specific uh, customer rep that I was uh, impressed by. Because it, 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 this major newspaper in the Southwest was new to me uh, as far as direct representation. I'd worked with them for many years, but only on a, on a very uh, high level. And uh, we were beginning to work with this newspaper as we uh, opened up stores in the market. And uh, we wanted information, and we wanted it now, because we were preparing some uh, marketing ideas. And uh, I was standing on the phone telling this ad rep all the things we needed and she seemingly was standing by the fax machine feeding this paper back in and I w would run down and catch the paper coming out of the fax machine get it as, uh, get it copied and distributed and there were like several phone calls that day and later in the afternoon uh, I needed something more and called and she was out of the office 
But that paper has teams, and the person who answered the phone on her team knew exactly the status of everything that had been done that day, and said, I can get that for you immediately. I'll have it on the fax machine. Should have it as soon as the fax machine can transmit it. And I, I was I was so impressed that I sent that team a, a, a bouquet of flowers. What can newspapers do? What do newspapers need to understand to get more of Fred Meyer's business in the future? How many times have you seen that sign? Not one newspaper I've worked with has ever done it. If they're planning ahead, they're sharing information and working with their advertisers in advance. Something that advertisers do all the time, at least major advertisers do, is plan their year and what they're going to do. I mean, we're working on Father's Day right now, and it's January. Our, our ads for Valentine's Day are on the wall out there, and, and we really have to plan ahead. If newspapers want to help their advertisers, they can be out there ahead of the time that the advertisers need them with ideas and promotions and things that the advertisers might work with and, and have need of.